Hello everyone. This video is probably going to be uploaded later tonight. I know it's only 11 o'clock here in New York City, but this is urgent stuff I got to get out to you regarding Apple. So I'm going to title this video Apple Discussion. We're going to talk about iOS 13.5, jailbreaking, and Worldwide Developers Conference because WWDC is going to be the important takeaway for the whole future of iOS jailbreaking once we get iOS 14 in beta testing. So the first thing we're going to lead off with, article from 9to5Mac, and that is yesterday, May 20th, Apple officially released iOS 13.5 general mode to the public. The updates include exposure notification, API, face ID enhancements, and more. And it looks like Google got involved too. Okay, so we're going to zoom in because if you're on a tablet or a phone, I don't want you to you know, get confused here. Okay, this is interesting. They added a feature thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic, including... Exposure Notification API Face Enhancements. So, Apple's been working with Google to develop the Exposure Notification API with close guidance from public health officials. When a user enables the feature and has an app from a public health authority installed, the device will regularly send out a beacon via Bluetooth that will include a random Bluetooth identifier. From there, the Exposure Notification API will download a list of keys for the beacons that have been verified as belonging to people confirmed as positive for coronavirus and check against that list. If there is a match, the user may be notified and advised on the next steps. Alright, so this is interesting. So, Apple says that a handful of U.S. states, and this is from Google as well, 22 countries have lost Five continents have requested and received a cross to the exposure notification. So other health organizations are getting involved, it looks like. Good, 9to5Mac has a video, but we're not going to play it. So I'm not really going to get into anything else. Sample Public Advisory Authority app onboarding. Hmm, okay, so... They're basically going to figure out that... Let's say that person got tested for coronavirus. You got the virus. I guess your phone's going to notify you now. So I guess this is probably a way for, I guess, Apple and Google to make sure the workforce can come back probably before the end of the year. I don't really want to turn this into a coronavirus discussion. No. So is there anything else notable? Okay, here we go. Um, iOS 13.5 speeds up the access to the passcode field and devices from base ID when you are wearing a face mask. Okay, so this is going to help the face ID recognize you wearing a face mask. That's very good. Very good. Okay, um, any notable things. FaceTime. Option to control automatic prominence on group FaceTime calls so video tiles do not change size when a participant speaks. Emergency services. Option to automatically share health and other essential information from your medical ID from emergency services when you are placing a 911 call. So this is only for the U.S. Alright. Okay, anything else? Okay, that's pretty much it. That's only a major coronavirus update, I guess. So... I don't need to get into that. Now, here's the big takeaway for this. According to Mac rumors, this is very interesting news. Ponda Own confirmed that Uncover will be updated to support all firmwares, including iOS 12.4.7. So that's very interesting news. I am completely shocked. That means the iPhone SE2 will have its first ever jailbreak. Very interesting. 
And even the 2020 iPad Pro can get jailbroken. Okay, so... Let's check the tweet from the Uncover team. So, this is what the Uncover team tweeted. We are going to release Uncover 5.0.0 with support for every signed iOS firm version on every device using a zero-day kernel vulnerability from Pawn to Own in sponsorship with PhoneRebel.com. Now, what is so important about PhoneRebel, you may be asking. Well, we'll get to that in a second. So, right now, at the moment, it looks like, and I'm hoping I am correct, as soon as tomorrow, which is May 22nd, or hopefully before the end of the Memorial Day weekend, and hopefully by May 25th, which is Memorial Day, we could be getting a brand new jailbreak. So that means you're on the 812 and 813 devices. I urge you right now, you can update. You can't update. But if you're on iOS 13.3 and you're still jailbroken, stay there right now. Or any firmware below that because you don't want to have a big hiccup. Trust me, you don't want to... You don't want that. Oh, so that's good news. It looks like Cydia Impactor still works. Very interesting news, I gotta say. So they don't have anything else. Ah, here we go. Uncover that dev. Do they have their website? I guess not at the moment. Hmm. Very odd. Not saying anything, I guess. Just comes up with the same link. Now, let's get into Phone Rebel. And by the way, Pawna Own confirmed he was not hacked. So, just want to give you guys the heads up. I don't want you guys freaking out. PhoneRebel.com is run by the myth, the man, the legend himself, the man who pretty much put jailbreaking on the map, besides Jay Freeman Sorek himself. Everything Apple Pro. So this is a complete shock. That everything Apple Pro got involved with this. Completely out of the blue. That a firmware drops and all of a sudden we have a jailbreak coming out for it. Possibly tomorrow or even by the end of the week. By the end of the weekend I mean. Which I'm just again completely shocked. Completely, completely, completely shocked. This is interesting. Here's a video that he tweeted out showing version 5.0.0. This could be by far the most advanced jailbreak we could ever see. Everything Apple Pro tweeted earlier today, I have been beta testing this jailbreak on my personal iPhone 11 Pro Max for three weeks now. This is especially important for beta because this firmware was on beta for a while. No issues to report, reliable, and no discreditable impact on battery life. So, that is excellent news. Once again, I am just completely shocked about this. Completely, completely shocked. And, as you can see here, iOS 13.5, right there. All good. All good. <laughs> Oh, come on. Phone cases. We understand that. But, again, this is a guy who has been jailbreaking for years. All right? Show him some love right now. All right? <laughs> this is interesting. Special edition uncover themed phone rebel case. That is very funny. So thanks to Philip from Everything Apple Pro for heavily getting involved with this. So I just want to check these pictures out for a second. And it does look like the iPhone 8 is included. So, yes, I could definitely tell that's my iPhone 8 model down there. One of them looks like it. That's very good news because I am completely, completely stoked. 
completely stoked, man. I'm... Looks like that is another iPad in the background, so the iPads are being tested. iPad OS 13.5 should also be supported, so that is very good news. Once again, I, I don't I don't I don't know how I'm supposed to feel right now, but I am stunned and shocked. Thank you, everything Apple Pro. Now as far as check rain is concerned, they did release version 0.10.1 beta to combat a couple issues they have fixed support for a7 devices they have fixed an issue in ios 12.4 which caused the device to panic and reboot on attempted shutdown fixed an issue to cause the keychain to lose new passwords fixed an issue which caused the gui increase to crash whenever more than one and fixed an issue where a user space reboot won't restart drop bear so the new, newer firmwares do get supported. That is very good news. 13.4 got supported, 13.4.1. Including Kernel Patch Finder 2 rewritten from the ground up for Sonic Speed. You can now quit from the WebRain interface. Huh. Apple TV 4K will produce a minus 20 error even on a successful jailbreak other than known issues are available on Issue Tracker. Hmm. Okay. Something else that's interesting at the moment. Only available for Mac OS and Linux. Once again, everybody knows about the Linux approach. I really wouldn't suggest that right now, considering that we are close to an untethered jailbreak coming out. Meaning you don't have to be a slave to a computer. And I'm still wondering when Installer 5 is going to be supported. Because, I hate to say it, but... The CheckRain team should really look into having Installer 5 as the main option in the future, because eventually we have to all ditch Cydia. Cydia is once again becoming an old relic. I will tell you that right now. It is I know we have a crush with Cydia. I will say that. But it's time to move on. And I'll mention one quick thing. I'm going to release a jailbreak tutorial regarding a tweak before the end of the weekend. There is now a tweak that will actually let you have your phone, your older model phone that supports 4K, actually play 4K videos on YouTube. So I'll record that tutorial most likely tomorrow. Definitely, this is getting late. So, um, one last thing I want to get to, you can see here, this is from Saunders Tech, and this is something interesting I got to show you. There is now an option in version 0.10.1 that will allow you to explore with untested iOS versions. So this could be very important for the future of iOS 14. So stay tuned because you're expecting to do beta testing on iOS 14. I think you need to pay attention to this next part because Robot Developers Conference has been announced. It will happen virtually on June 22nd. That is Monday, June 22nd. So save the date because we are expecting the official announcement of iOS 14. So, of course, once again, with the COVID-19 situation, hopefully Apple will be streaming it online, which I'll be very excited. Hmm. It might be important, uh, important updates. All right. So I think with that, we're going to wrap this video up. Thank you all very much for watching. Until the next one, please take care.